The Super Sugoi VN condemns sexual sins and violence and fruit juices play at your own risk. Such 18 plus, very NSFW. So frick frack wow. Hello. <laughs> what we do here is go back, 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 back. Hello fellow GBs, this is Catching Fire 3 with Chop Chop Fruit Salad Mystery Jam Doki Doki Dating Sim Thingy. The Super Segoi Dating Sim, best one ever. Uh, but I'm gonna play it, hold on. Oh, I just gotta move the screen a little. <laughs> no, <sighs> that's what it was. I stopped, panting heavily. I think they have lost track of me now. I'm still shaking as I lean onto the wall. I'm still not safe here, I should get home. As I think that, hello. <sighs> I turn around, the fruit's standing in front of me. I catch sight of something shiny and then, chop, I guess. I wake up from the sunbeams shining into my room. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> I yawn loudly as I try to wake up, resisting the urge to just fall asleep again. That was a uh, that was me yawning, by the way. Like that was a fake yawn, but it's, to me, it's not real. I'm not fond of mornings, neither am I. I step out of bed and look into my mirror. It was some time since I last polished my pee, so I should do that before I. Do Sorry, I. Oh my God. I'm actually not that concerned about my appearance. Hey, it's not like I'm trying to impress any fruit. Oh no, it's a My Little Pony-like thing. God damn it. Impressing other fruits is Banana the Chamber's... Charmer's job? Chamber's? I don't know. Banana is always flirting with s some fruit. I just don't want to go to school with stains all over me. I grab a handkerchief and... Handkerchief? Handkerchief and polish my peel a bit before putting it back. So now I should eat breakfast. Wait, do they eat fruits for breakfast? Is there like different kinds of fruit? I walk down the stairs and into the kitchen. I lazily prepare myself some food and sit down at the kitchen table. As I eat, I hear the sound of the newspaper coming through the letter opening in my door. I consider whether the newspaper is worth the effort of standing up and getting it. The newspaper wins mostly because of the comics. I rise from my chair and go get it, then I sit down again. I unfold the newspaper and look at the first page. Let's see what we've got here. New victim of the chopper. Police are lacking clues. I shudder a bit. The chopper is a serial killer who has been on a killer spree in this town now for a while. They're called the chopper because they always chop their victim into fine little pieces. Far too often their crimes are mentioned at the front page of the magazine. It makes me afraid to go out at night. I flip to the page. This morning, police found a severely chopped up mango on Lavender Road. Due to the way the victim has been chopped, police are certain this is another murder performed by the chopper. According to the experts, the crime took place sometime between 10 p.m. yesterday and 1 a.m. this morning. Any fruit who has any clues about this crime or chopper's previous crimes is encouraged to give them to the police ASAP. Not much information, but I'm not surprised. The chopper is good at getting away and erasing clues. The only thing that's for certain is that the chopper most likely lives in this town. That narrows it to about 10,000 fruits since the town is not that big. Not that big, 10,000 fruits? Imagine how big they are. With the current progress of the killer, it will probably be a lot less by the end of the year. I smacked myself. Stop that right now, Apple. It's not a good idea to scare myself. I flip past the page and read the comics and funnier articles as I enjoy my meal, pushing away any worries about the chopper. Time to go crap! Reading the paper made me lose track of time because when I look at the clock, it's far later than it should be. I sprint out of my house at full speed. I breathe heavily. I made it. But I really need to start paying attention to my surroundings. I entered the school. Well, they have schools just like human schools. I wonder if that. Oh my god, this actually looks like real school. Did somebody just take pictures of, the, of their school or something? That would be interesting. Here we are. Hey, Apple. Huh? I turn around. 
What's that? Forgetting the peel of your unripe friend? I know you're a fucking noob, but that's just not cool, you rotten apple. It's banana. They're looking pouty, but I know it's just an act. They are like that. Pfft. As if I could ever forget such an ugly peel and obnoxious personality. Hi, banana. Hey! Ah, that hurt! That's what you get for insulting such an amazingly beautiful fruit such as Banana-sama. Yeah, yeah, you're fruit just -y. I sigh. <laughs> we both break out laughing at the same time. This is almost like a daily ritual. It's probably hard to believe that we are friends, let alone best friends, but we are. If this was a bad dating some banana would be the Osan Osan and O Son and uh, Jimmy or whatever. Huh. I wonder. Osanana Jimmy. <coughs> what did she just say? Did she say that right? Wow, that's really fast. I can't even say my own name that fast. Character who has feelings for the protagonist but denies this and either dies or is very unlucky in all routes but their own. But since this is a super segoy and mega awesome game, that's not the case. What if it is the case though? Because this is definitely a dating sim. Yeah, it says it's right there. It's dating sim. So anyway, Apple, did you read about that incident? You mean that one about the chopper? Yeah, I read it. Why? You know, pair in the class above us, I traded my lunch for some very juicy information from them. Oh? Pear's peer. Oh my fucking god. They did not. I hope I'm seeing things wrong. They fucking did. Peer, Pear's... No, oh my fucking god, I can't read that. I can't read that. Pear's parents... Ooh, god damn it. Work for the police, so Pear hears things now and then. Don't tell any fruit I said this is not meant to be public. Police are suspecting the chopper to be a student of this school. Whoa! Creepy, isn't it? Some fruit here is a real rotten one. I nod. I'm scared as hell. Just then the teacher enters the classroom. Yo, how are all my young fresh students doing today? What is with you? Give me a yo, give me a ha, give me a what's up. The whole class simultaneously arises including me and Banana. Yo, ha, what's up? That that's much better now. Let's start the lesson. Everyone return to your seat, please. One, two, drop the bass. We all do as they say. Pineapple Sensei is a good teacher. I'm not denying that, but they are kind of eccentric and it's not a good idea to make them angry. I sit down in my seat next to Strawberry. Hi, Strawberry. <laughs> Hi, Apple. It's not like I, I, I like you or anything, you fucking baka. As soon as I sit down, Strawberry greets me in their own way. Okay, whatever. But, Bucko, why won't you notice me, Sekudeo? Sorry, what was that? Nothing, don't you dare talking. Oh, fuck. Nothing, don't you dare talking to me. I don't fucking like you, Bakamono. Whatever you say. I sigh deeply, sitting down, ignoring Strawberry. Strawberry grumpily sits down. I guess that that's our interest or whatever. Sits down beside me while making grumpy noises. Well, I guess that's better than screaming fucking soon. Sun? Soon? I don't know. Nothing dare with that fruit. Oh, sun dare! I got it. I got it now. They probably have a lot of dokies from, with them acting like that, but I can't be bothered to find out. Pineapple Sensei starts the lesson. This lesson is history, one of my least favorite subjects. Actually, math is... In reality, math is my least favorite subject. Fuck math. To be honest, I'm not that interested in learning about old moldy fruits who did this and that. 
I struggle to pay attention, but I can't be bothered. I snooze through the whole lesson. The bell ending the class rings. I yawn loudly. You, you, you suck. Sleep at night, you fucking bakamono. You can lean against me, you know. I do sleep at night if that's what you're worried about. Nani? The fuck are you saying, Baka? I do, do totally not care about you at all. You could just die. Fuck off, Baka. Anyway, I feel like I could go release some juices. I'll be right back. I totally will not miss you, Baka, 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 Baka. I rise from my seat and exit the classroom, leaving Strawberry shouting, Baka. Strawberry loves uh, Apple, apparently. You already know. Whatever sound a peeing fruit makes, because I am not looking up peeing sound effects by create. <laughs> no, wait, no, that's not. Ah, that's much better. I do my business and then exit the toilets. I thought he was going to do something else, to be honest. The toilets on the school. S on the school socks. Wait, did I see that right? Hold on. I can't go back. God damn it. It's not like I mind the smell of fruit juice, but that sounded so wrong. I need to stop thinking of weird things. I sigh as I make my way to the classroom. Bump. Oh, wait. Ah! While I'm thinking about fruit juice, I bump into something. I land on the floor. Ouch. That's going to become a bruise. Shit. I look up. Whoa, that hurt. There's another fruit. Nice job, Apple. Oh, it's a tomato, which is technically a fruit. If this was one of those bad dating sims, I'd offer the fruit my handkerchief, and they would get embarrassed and ask me for my number so that they could wash it and return it. And that would be the start of a new romance. Stop thinking weird things. I shake myself a few times. Uh, oops, I'm sorry. Are you okay? I quickly get up and try to help the other fruit up. Oh. Oh, I bumped into some fruit. This is so embarrassing. It was my fault coming aside. Are you hurt? Do you, I need to uh, call an ambulance? The fruit stutters this while blushing. No, that's fine. Also, it was my fault, so. No, it's mine. We share an awkward silence. Oh, fuck this shit. I'll have to do something. I'll uh, say something. Right, I'll just have something, uh, have to say something to make this fucking shit less awkward. It should be something cool, something witty, something sophisticated, something like... Do you like being choked sexually? Uh? Crap, that was not what I intended to say. I should stop reading all those weird hentai manga. But as a protagonist, I'm required to read porn all the time to ease my sexual frustration. Damn it all. <clears throat> anyway, I'm Apple. What's your name? Uh, oh, right. I'm Tomato. Nice to meet you, a Apple. I think I've seen you around before. What class are you in? Uh, I I'm in a another class than you. But we have shared classes on the English lessons. Oh, that makes sense then. Well, nice meeting you here, Tomato. I I can't get over the to meet instead of to meet to meet you. I have to go back to my class now. Let's both watch out and not bump into fruits in the future. Uh, yes, of course. See you, Apple. We part ways. Whoa. I was only going to squirt some juice, but I also sort of uh, sort foe befriended some fruit. And thinking of it, tomato is kind of hot. I smacked myself again. What am I thinking? It's far too early in the game to have these kind of thoughts. I returned to the classroom. Despite my previous encounter, the next class hasn't started yet. Hmm, I still have some time until next class starts. What to do? Okay, I'm gonna do all of them. <laughs> For some reason, I decided to talk to Strawberry. I'm back, Strawberry! Like I care! I'm not happy at all, you baka! I expected something like this. Well, here I am anyway, whether you like it or not. You soon piece of and you soon piece of shit. Anyway, tell me about yourself. Nani? Yeah, like your interest or something. I don't know. I hate everything. Is that all you wanted to ask? 
if that's how it's going to be, I might as well tease the sunberry a bit. Hey, strawberry, you and banana are like yin and yang. What? Why? Because, because a banana is actually a berry, but everyone think they're fruit. Holy shit. Uh, and you are actually a fruit, but everyone mistakes you for a berry. You fucking baka! We continue like this for some time while I wonder what the fruity juicy fuck is wrong with me. Before I know it, it's time for the next lesson. Fucking shit. It's another subject I hate. I hate school. Finally, school is all over and went faster than expected because of the creator of this VN is lazy as fuck. That's all for today. Have a nice afternoon and stuff, and don't forget to rock. Pineapple Sensei had bangs, and I hurry out of the classroom before they start singing or some shit. Banana comes with me. Ha! Huh, finally over. We walk in silence. When we're at the door, Banana suddenly stops. Ah, oh, sorry, man, but I gotta do something. I'll be right back, so wait for a minute, okay? Right, hurry, though. Banana hurries in another direction. I think about battleships and other shit while I'm waiting for Banana. Various other fruits pass by me while I'm waiting. After like 30 minutes, I lose my patience. Oh, for fuck's sake! I'm, I'm tired of this. What to do? Uh, look for Banana. I'll just have to look for Banana then. Huh. I realize there's one place where I haven't looked yet. The toilets. As soon as I step into the toilets, I hear a voice. Uh, mm, uh. I recognize that voice. I look around the toilets and there's Banana. They're leaning onto the wall and doing something. What the hell do I mean something? I know exactly what Banana is doing. They are masturbating. What the actual fuck? Uh, mm, uh, uh. Banana is making noises I was not 100% aware that fruits could make. This is actually kind of sexy. Masturbate, of course. I can't control myself and start rubbing myself in a sexual manner. <sighs> it feels very kamochi y so I start moaning directly. Banana doesn't notice me and continues with what they're doing. Me too. Uh, 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 uh. We both reach climax at the same time and spread sticky free juices all over the toilets. It's covering the floor. Whoa, it's also covering me and Banana like in some cheap ass porno game. I'm breathing heavily. Also, now Banana notices me and turns even redder than before. Uh, Apple, what are you doing here? Er, I... But before I can finish the sentence, Banana interrupts me. Please forget this ever happened. Forget about me. I am a bad fruit. Goodbye, my friend. Banana slips on an unrealistic amount of fruit juice and falls over. They rise quickly and sprint out of the... Uh, sorry, and sprints out of the bathroom. Uh, banana, wait! But Banana doesn't wait. Before I know it, my yellow friend is gone and I'm left in a sea of sticky fruit juice. I never saw Banana again after that. I have no idea what happened to Banana, but rumors say they moved out of town. I guess I'll never see my unripe hood friend again. How sad. Bad end. Oh, I got the bad end. I'll load up here. Talk to Banana. I decided to talk to Banana. I walk over to Banana's seat. Well, 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 good day, your fruit just -y. Yo, Apple, I totally do not like you, man. Apparently no one likes me today. Nah, no, just joking. Strawberry may be a fucking son, but I'm not. We spend time together talk talking literal nonsense. It is very comforting. Before I know it, it's time for the next lesson. Walk home with Strawberry? Yeah. I decided to walk home with Strawberry, who has suddenly magically appeared instead. Hey, Strawberry, you want to walk home with me? You baka, I hate you! Okay, let's go, baka. We exit the school. Wow. We walk together. Hey, hey, Strawberry. Y yes? Why are you such a fucking Sunday? 
Nani the fuck? I am not Sundare. When I have I ever displayed Sundare behavior? Notice me. I do not like you. I hate you, Baka. Whatever you say. Why is the Sundari archetype so popular again? I keep quiet for the rest of the walk to save my non-existent ears. Here's where I li here's where I live. Bye. Kiss me goodbye. Here's where I live. Bye. Kiss me goodbye. I will not miss you at all. Goodbye, you fucking baka. Strawberry runs away. What a fucking soon. Bye, I guess. Strawberry is really special. <laughs> I continue walking home. Puh. Finally home. I collapse on my bed. I am very tired for some reason. Fuck homework. I'm going to sleep. I go to sleep. I wake up once again from the sun being shining at me. Isn't there any way else to wake up in this fucking game? <sighs> it's just like any other morning. I sit down at the kitchen table. I'm not going to get the damn newspaper because this morning I'm not going to get distracted. I eat quickly and leave the house. I arrive at school. I'm at school now. This hallways look- not those hallways, but what if this- Hmm. Maybe they're just stock images of class- or school, I guess. I enter the classroom. I go to my seat. <laughs> Hi, Apple! What? Not being sun- Sundare today? No, I need the fuck! Why are you calling me sund- Sundre? <laughs> Sorry. Stop calling me Sundare, you fucking baka! Nothing new here, I see. Hello, students! We go through our usual ceremony and then Pineapple Sensei starts the lesson. School ends. Banana catches up to me. So, should we go home together? Oh, wait, sorry. So, should we go home together? Nah, I need to stay at school for a bit longer. Gotta get some books in the library. Okay, bye. Banana walks away. I go to the library. I spend some time in the library reading and stuff. Of course, because that's what libraries are for. Wait, I want to see what books those are. I have not read any of those books, so I have no idea. Okay, I read some book about orange and orange with flowers growing out of their peel. It's just weird. Wait, is that what I think it's supposed to be? I think it is. Uh, but most books in this library are weird. Weird as fuck, to be honest. It's probably because Pumpkin Sensei the librarian is kind of weird too. Books match the librarian or something like that. I should be a librarian because then all the books would be awesome and filled with fruit juice and fruit juice is not- What the fuck? Before I know it, too much time has passed. I exit the library. But when I'm in the hallway, I hear something. Ah! A scream. It came from the classroom. I hurry there. I'm outside the classroom. But before I can open the classroom door, I f feel a smell. Fruit juice. Not the kind of fruit juice that squirts out when I do naughty stuff. This is the smell of the fruit juice version of blood. Dreading what awaits me, I slam open the classroom door. Banana! Banana. What is left of banana is lying on the floor covered in- uh, uh, Wait. They forgot to eat. The floor covered in fruit juice blood. Funnily chopped. My brain freezes from the brutal image. B banana? My Osana Nanama Yimi banana? I don't fucking know. This is so sad that it gets awesome music. I'm about to cry when. So. You're finally here, Apple. I hear a voice. When I turn to look. I guess they were right. Hi. It's strawberry, but at the same time, not strawberry. It's strawberry, but with very unrealistic dark shadows that make no sense, a knife, and a very scary aura. So basically, Yandere, strawberry, whoa. How are they holding that knife, though? Anyway, they have just killed my precious Os Osanana Yimi. I don't know, I'm going to say it differently every time, I guess. Fucking haul, I did not ask for this. 
Hell, but fuck the hall too. You killed Banana, I will kill you! <laughs> Why? I'm going to chop you! Chopper charges at me with the sharp knife. Whoa, that was a close call. Yandere, Strawberry Shore is dangerous, but their moves are hot. Damn it, Apple, now's not the time. Ah. While well, I'm distracted, Strawberry knocks me down onto the floor. I try to break free, but they are too strong. Strawberry presses the knife to my peel. <laughs> I'll chop you. Crap. I need to think of something ASAP. Try to reason, I guess. I'll try to reason with Strawberry. Strawberry, please stop. Okay, hold on. Me. Oh, I can't. Hold on. I'm your friend at Apple, remember? <laughs> you are not my friend. The only one you are friends with is Banana. I love you. I love you, Baka. But you just want to be with Banana. So I killed Banana, but you still don't love me. If I can't have you, then I might as well. This is like a very cliche on scene from a porn game. Strawberry, please. What the fuck? Oh shit. I think I'm done. <laughs> now you're finally mine, Apple. <laughs> Bad end. Of course I did. Push Strawberry away. I push Strawberry away. Get! Strawberry lands on the floor but gets up again. I'll kill you! Strawberry is about to charge on me again but stops suddenly. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Strawberry is crying. I love you. What? I love you. I love you, Baka. I killed Banana so that you would want me. Why won't you notice me? Strawberry drops a knife and starts crying. <laughs> I reluctantly make my way over to Strawberry. Hey, you didn't have to go that far. I have no idea why, but I'm not angry at Strawberry. I hug Strawberry. Y you're cute. All those moments we shared, all the times you yelled at me, they were special, just like you. <laughs> but I'm clumsy, I didn't realize it until now. <laughs> I love you, Strawberry. Huh? I want to spend the rest of my time with you. I want to make you mine. I kiss Strawberry. Mm -hmm. I break away. Strawberry suddenly kisses me back. St Strawberry. D don't get any ideas. I totally do not suki you, Baka. I smile. Yes, yes, got it. Let's go home. Strawberry nods. We leave the classroom in bananas rottening slices. And then I call the police on her. We walk home together. Wait a sec. Are we going to your place or mine? Mine, don't get any ideas though. Fine. I giggle a little. What are you laughing at, Baka? Nothing. Let's go to your place then. We finally reach Strawberry's house. We sit down on the bed together. No, not quick. Previous. Auto. Oh, no. No, I want this one. We sit down on the bed together. Wait, did I read that wrong? I think I read that wrong. Hold on, quick load. We sit down on the bed. Yep, that's what I thought. It said to gator. Oh, I didn't read that at first. Okay. Strawberry's room is simple, but I still find it beautiful. Everything about Strawberry is beautiful. <laughs> your room sure is simple for someone with your personality type. I expected you to have, like, a royal room or castle or some shit. Baka! So, so, what do we do now? Well, since this is kind of a bad erogi or whatever, we should fuck. Baka! Uh, okay. J just be gentle. Is this your first time? Shut up, Baka! Yes. Well, I'm honored. I'll take good care of you, Strawberry Chan. None of the fuck is with the Chan. 
No, stop. I'm getting notifications. We shared a long, passionate night. Strawberry juice is delicious. Ugh. After that, we started living a domestic life and every day. Life and every day. Strawberry hit me out of love. After some time, I turned into a masochist, and so we began with BDSM. Oh, Jesus Christ. We lived happily ever after. Waiting for the murder. Good end. I got the good end. Okay, I'm gonna walk home alone. See if this does anything different. And then that's the end of the video. I decided to walk home by myself. I walk in silence. Suddenly. Ouch! A familiar voice. It's coming from the ground. There's some fruit familiar on the ground. Wait a fucking minute. Ow, that, that hurt. It's tomato. Somehow tomato has fallen on the ground. Tomato really is the stereotypical mo. Are, are you okay? Oh, apple. Yes, I'm oh, okay. I'm so sorry. I fell over. Yeah, I noticed. You sure fall over a lot, don't you? Ah, so embarrassing. Yes, I do. Please don't hate me. Of course I don't hate you, silly. Let's walk home together so you don't fall over again. Yes, we walk together. Oh no, I'm gonna have the tomato. Well, here's where I live. Thank you for walking me home, Apple. See you tomorrow. See ya. I continue walking home. <sighs> Finally home. I collapsed on my bed. I am very tired for some reason. Fuck homework. I'm going to sleep. I go to sleep. I arrive outside the classroom, but before I can open the class... Okay, whatever. Well, if you like this video, leave a like, comment down below what you want me to do next, subscribe if you're new, and may the odds be ever in your favor.